Hi, so in this course of electromagnetic engineering, in the previous session, we'll talk about uh, electric field due to sheet charge and volume charge distributions. We also have seen that what should be the electric field within or outside the parallel plate capacitors. And also we have proven that uh, how do we sketch the electric field within the parallel plate capacitors. Okay, we always sketch it which is normal to the parallel plates and there is a reason behind it. So we have seen that reason also. Now in today's session we are going to start with the Gauss law. Uh, so in previous session we have talked about various methods to deter determine the electric field in case of different charge distributions. Now the case is suppose I want to determine electric field in a simpler way we can effectively utilize this Gauss law. So today in the session we'll talk about Gauss law, it is its physical significance and its applications. And finally after having the knowledge about Gauss law we apply it to identify electric field in different charge distributions may be line charge, sheet charge or volume charge. Not limited to that we also identify the key limitations because in certain cases especially when do, we do not have the symmetrical charge distribution it is not possible to apply Gauss law. So we'll see and discuss the limitations and its possible solution where we can apply the Gauss law effectively to identify the electric field. Thank you.